Hi, I'm Kelly with Dryland Distillers, and today we're going to walk through a tasting of our sampler pack of spirits. The first spirit up is our gin. It's lightest on the palate, and we're going to be working from this direction. So there will be our gin, the heirloom wheat whiskey, the Antero wheat whiskey, and then our cactus. Our gin was, is made with all Colorado native botanicals. That's kind of what sets it apart from most other gins. And as I walk through this tasting, I'm going to give a slight pause before I tell you what my tasting notes are. That way, if you want to pause your video, you can then pause it, taste it, kind of get a bearing of what your palate says is on there, and then I'll tell you what we think. Um, everybody's palate is different. There are no wrong answers. Um, so it's just kind of a fun exercise to um, go through and see what you taste. When smelling spirits, I like to use a glass that has a little bit of a larger opening. That way you can get in there a little bit um, as opposed to like a shot glass that has a very narrow opening. Unlike wine and beer, you don't want to stick your nose totally in there because there's more ether. All right. So I get on the nose some juniper. Um, it's definitely lighter than a lot of other gins. The juniper that we use isn't as pungent as most other junipers. And there's like a floral aspect to it. like elderflower. All right, now for the tasting. All right, there's definitely some fruit aspect to that, um, but also some spruce, but on the lighter side, it's not like totally spruce in your face. Um, but the fruit is probably like a lighter cherry, um, rainier cherry, and the finish. Goes more savory for me. Um, definitely some sage and a little bit of pine. The next spirit that we're going to do is our heirloom wheat whiskey. And if you would like to cleanse your palate in between each spirit, go ahead and do so with some water. All right, so this is our heirloom wheat whiskey. It's made with a white Sonora wheat. It is made with 100% that grain. Um, so all of the tasting notes that you're going to get are from either the barrel or that grain. All right, so immediately I get um, some honeysuckle because there's definitely some honey and a little bit of cinnamon, like some sweet spice, um, vanilla and like dried fig. All right, on the palate, There is a spice aspect to this. Um, it goes like black peppery for me, um, but there's nice fruit notes that are quince-like and that honey from the nose definitely comes through in the palate also, but it's like a deeper honey, probably like, um, like Manuka or like a dark clover. And then the finish, isn't too long, it's more of a medium finish. Um, I get walnut and like a red tea, like um, Ruibos. The next spirit is our Antero Wheat Whiskey. It is made with 
Colorado Antero wheat that has grown 30 miles away from our distillery at Arnish Farms. Um, this particular green was developed by CSU's agricultural department to be grown specifically in Colorado's climate. So it's grown without irrigation here, which is great for the environment. And it's going to be, have a little more flavor. The heirloom is probably more of a sipping whiskey. This one's great for cocktails. All right, immediately on the nose, I get brown sugar, definitely apparent. Um, and then also some vanilla and stone fruit. The palette, um, the spice that's present here is more mole, um, ripe fruit, and it's butterier, so like some brown butter notes. And then the finish, you get like candied orange, some caramel. and black cherry. Um, at the very end, there's a little bit of bitterness that kind of leans towards black tea for me. Now last, but certainly not least, is our cactus spirit. It is made in a mezcal style from prickly pear cactus paddles. Um, like these bad boys right here. And it is cut up and smoked over mesquite for 24 to 48 hours before it goes into our mash tun. Um, right upon opening up the bottle, you're probably gonna get a whiff of this. Um, it is, its smoke is very apparent and um, you'll see that throughout the tasting also. Okay. Yep, right away. There's mesquite right away. But then there's also some sweetness, like star fruit and, and leather. All right, and on the palate. There's smoke for sure. Um, but there is like a vegetal sweetness through the middle. Uh, we use raw cane to make the sugar level consistent in the mash. And you could definitely get some of that here. Um, the smoke almost goes a little peaty towards the end. And in the finish, it goes a little campfirey. Um, and there's a slight bitterness that kind of leans towards bitter melon for me. This spirit has a really long finish. Um, the complexity lends it to have a lot of evolving flavors throughout the end. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, hopefully this was insightful and now you can do this tasting over and over again with all of your friends if you would like to. Thanks so much.